Okay. Uh, it's okay. Good luck. Have fun in indeed, Candy Man. Do you want to play Warcraft 2, Candy? Uh, all of you guys are welcome, by the way. I I don't, uh, you know, like uh, someone asked earlier if I was making room for new players. Uh, yes, we do. That's one of the main goal of our uh, of our little community here is to welcome new people and make sure that they're like. I'm not gonna make you the best Warcraft 2 player ever, but I'm gonna give you the the skills and the the um, the means to understand what's beautiful about Warcraft 2 enough that you would want to play it every so often. So I'm gonna I'm basically trying to uh, show you guys that don't know the game very well or that have played it back then but have not ever played it at a decent level how much more it is than just exploding creators. Yeah, and it is it is just it. This game has so much more strategical value than people granted to uh, granted for. So it is uh, one of my goals is to make sure that a lot more people gets to know that. <laughs> and we have a, a tower in the bay, in the in the gold floor of Eternal Games. He he doesn't he wa he wants nothing to do with this. Uh, that's gonna be very funny. We have Paolo trying to rack Eternal Games. Eternal Games with a nice tower here. He's gonna be f safe. I think he needs to build a, a lumber mill though. He will build a lumber mill. I don't know where, but he will. Two towers. That's a lot. I don't think you want a cannon tower here. No, I think that's a mistake. I think he needs uh, to go for. Go oh, he's gonna go cannon. In mi in the middle of his gold flow. Do you like my new emotes, Skullgildan? Who is stronger, orcs or humans? Uh, orcs. That's why I asked Daybreak to go humans because he just won three games in a row, and I feel it's it's needed at this point uh, to have a very short, a small handicap. He's good with last. Uh, his shortcuts are um, he he know and he knows and and plays more with hotkeys, and so his hotkeys for orcs are a little bit better. And I I want him to, well I want him to, I want the others to have a chance, you know. So he's going to be killing that tower and he's going to be forced to make a cannon, I believe, behind the wall. Uh, and and that, that, that is about it here. And we have two cannon towers. Uh, I don't really like the cannon towers here, but it's what it is. Yeah. Oh my god, tell me the... You tell me the truth. <laughs> there are new... In it was, yes, they are. The fire emote that you're using is new. It wasn't there before. <laughs> That's why I'm saying, do you like them? Because you've been using the fire one. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You can thank Mirari for that. She she really uh, she helped us to get to that uh, that level. We're gonna get another cannon. Yeah, that that's that's another cannon. It should be able to range here. It should be able to hit. By one tile, but it should be. Yeah, it's gonna be in range, but barely. <laughs> So Faulo is spending a lot of money on trying to kill Eternal Games. That said, he's not spending as much as Eternal Games is spending to stay alive. That's already so much money, man. That's so much money. It's uh, yeah, that's a lot. It's more than thousand, four thousand, like four thousand and fifty gold there. Four thousand, uh, well, forty-five hundred gold, pretty much. And we're not even counting the wood. That's a lot. But he's gonna be safe. I mean, the cannon towers can't uh, defeat that very easily unless you're going for a catapult, which we might be going for, actually. If I'm Fowler, that's probably the next thing I'm going for. Well, I don't like the idea of repairing this. That's, just, that's not a good idea. Just give it away already. You can't keep it alive, you're gonna lose your peon. Yeah, so that was uh, that, that was something we could have predicted, obviously. And who's that? Flampest! Flampest grabbing over the center and putting farms all the way around it? That is so fun, I love it. That is going to be super fun to, to, to see when, when others are going to try and help. But he's been walling off 
the whole center here for himself. <laughs> Doing. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Alright, so far so good. We still have the cannons for uh, for Flampest and he's gonna have to, uh, I mean for Eternal Games, and he's gonna have to rebuild up. Flampest has massed his troops here above the base of Paolo. I'm not sure exactly what he wants to do here, but it is gonna be interesting to see. I think he's gonna try and join Paolo in the attack, but it is what it is. On the other side we have Daybreak, um, on the other hand we have Daybreak here playing the humans, going for a uh, Gnomish Inventor. And he's gonna have the sappers too. It is really a very heavy bottom right side for that map. On the top side though we have red and blue. Both Nico and, and Nighttime. Nighttime in, in blue right here. And Nico in red. Nico with a pretty good looking base let's be honest. I do like that though I don't... I'm not sure if I agree with the idea of upgrading your fortress on your expansion where you don't have the peons. I, I do... Uh, like it more when people upgrade the main base because they have the time to produce peons where they want them But at the same time you can always uh, move them away after this gold mine has collapsed So it's what it is the first attack is going to come from daybreak He's gonna go through the center, but it's closed off. I mean he sees it right. It's his partner So Flempus has closed off the center. He knows he can't go through there He's gonna use the sapper to kill the farms of no way. No, okay. <laughs> I was like, is he gonna use the sapper to kill the two farms of Flampus? No, okay, he didn't. Could have been though, could have been. We have level 6 ogres with last on the side of blue and now I think the, the knights, they don't want to be fighting this. They're gonna be moving up. And we can see blue is gonna try and help, but he's gonna get attacked on in, in, uh, in return. No, he just... He's not actually moving there. He's not gonna help. Like, he's not even gonna try to kill the catapult here. He's just gonna move to attack something. That being said, there are lots of black knights here. And they're gonna go all the way up. He's gonna be found. Like, what, a, a white has gonna... It's gonna be just found here. And the ogres of nighttime here are gonna be met. Unlasted though. So that is a bit unfortunate for him. a lot of knights on the other side here we can see Paolo is going to be attacking uh, uh, Eternal Games but Eternal Games will survive he's going to have that catapult that nice juicy catapult to defend um, and that's going to be pretty nice for him the farms of Flempest are getting killed but it, it gave a lot of time to black he's going to be safe for now and the uh, Knights of Daybreak are coming in here, but they are, they are gonna be met with last. Humans have paladins, but I don't ever see them in these games. You can see them being used a lot more on water maps than they are on, on land maps. Simply because paladins are better in choke points. Uh, and honestly, because of the cost of mana uh, it has, because of the mana cost, uh, basically, paladins are worth less uh, in land games, and they are not very worth it in water maps. You're probably, probably better off uh, making mages. But if you have the extra money and you're in water map where there are lots of chokeable positions, you can try and use real. It, it, you can get your money worth. It's just not common to see it used. If Rocket 2 had uh, a patch, a balance patch, it would fix this, I think, uh, pretty easily. Vision and Exorcism are the two usable spells. Yeah, but Exorcism is 4 mana for 1 damage. Still not the best. And it's very occasional. You can only use it on one type of unit, on two types of units, like the Skeletons and Decays. Skeletons being also pretty much worthless. Uh, it is really not a good spell. Like, you're not... You're, I mean, Knights, by default, are already pretty good at killing the Death Knights. So you're getting the range uh, and the instant kill. But honestly, they are already quite a good units against Death Knight, so 
And, it, and the mana cost is still very high, like 4 mana for 1 damage is one of the worst mana costs you have in the game. For example, uh, Coil is 1 mana per one, per 1 value, right? So Coil is, a, and it, Coil is one of the best balanced spells in the game, it's very well balanced. 1 per 1 is the best mana, I think, you can, the ne best mana for value you can get. Uh, it is really good, uh, it is not too OP because, uh, because Coil is not that OP of a spell. But it is very efficient, and I think spells should be balanced around that. Having a 1 mana for 1 value is, is in my opinion, probably the best. Uh, so that would be 1 for 1 on the heal and 1 for 1 on exorcism. That would be what I'd do. I, I, that's, that's what I would try, at least. Uh, and I think it would make the spells good. I'm very, very against uh, changing the way spells are used. Like, if, if you're going to make auto-cast in Warcraft 2, you're basically ruining the fun for me. Uh, because auto casting, it is really impressive to see a human player heal effectively. And if you may make it auto cast, then you remove all of that from the game. Like you, you're no longer going to be amazed by a player managing his heal properly, uh, by a player healing in a choke point like beautifully. You, you're never going to be amazed by that anymore if you make it auto heal. So I'm against it. But when it comes to the values, I think you can just balance the values and it's going to be good enough. Like heal, I've tested it. If you lower the cost of heal, it's better. Um, uh, humans will win in every choke point. Like there is no longer a lasted ogre army that can win against a paladin army in a choke. And that, that is actually quite incredible. Because hu humans are going to be able to keep alive knights for longer. And if you have a, a slight choke, even a disadvantageous choke, you're, you're still winning. Because you can uh, you can heal with the knights that are standing behind, and so that that makes humans a lot more tricky to play because you have to play them in choke points and stuff. But they are capable of fighting off ogres, which is really fun. Skeletons are fun spell to hunt your enemies. Yeah, skeletons are really fun. I think skeletons are in a sweet spot, but they should be like may like the one thing I would do is maybe I would make them benefit from upgrades, or I would make sure that. Um, because let's let's face it, like a skeleton is weaker than a grunt, and it costs you 50 mana to do. So I would like, I would think about it. Like, do I make them stronger, like more life, or do I make them do a little bit more damage? It's one or the other. But if you want them to be useful, uh, you have to choose either of that. NPC with healing was always annoying to fight. Yeah, but it's it, in terms of value, you're always winning with last. Pretty good game. Uh, I'm very proud of Nighttime and Nico, but uh, yeah, of course they used the 